In this video, we're going to go through our TFC slant blocks. So why we created them and all of the different ways that you can use them. So we're always looking for powerful tools to help you rebuild strength, mobility and balance from the ground up. Slant boards have been one such tool that we've gotten great use out of ourselves, but the problem is they do tend to be quite heavy and bulky. So that's why we're super excited to launch our own version, which are lighter, more portable and more versatile, all made from our favorite eco-friendly material, cork. For a good while, there's been a myth in the rehab and fitness industry that you should never train exercises with your knees over your toes for the fear that it would provide too much load to your knees. But the truth is, moving your knees over your toes is a completely natural way to move in daily life and is also actually really important to purposely train in different contexts, especially when it comes to knee rehabilitation and sports performance. So this is becoming more widely accepted these days, in large part thanks to the efforts of Ben Patrick and the Athletic Truth Group, who have popularized this knees over toes style of training and have some really great programs that involve a lot of slant board training. So we highly recommend checking them out if you'd like more guidance with how to get the most out of your slant board or now slant block training. But for this video, we're just going to show you all the different configurations of the slant blocks and how you can use them to progress your training. So the slant blocks come in a pack of three with one at 20 degrees and two at 10 degrees. So the first configuration is just mimicking a typical slant board, 10, 20 degree down, two 10 degrees stacked, and that allows you to do your decline squats. So that takes away the ankle mobility demand, allowing you to stay more upright in your squat and load more through the knees. Great for strengthening and rehabilitation in different stages. You can do the squats like that, or something I really like is also just being able to sit more comfortably in a squat if you're wanting to read a book or do some work and just accumulate more time in that deep squat position. With this configuration, you can also reverse it and go into some calf raises, which just allows you to get more range of motion through your calf raise. You can also progress that by swapping the blocks out. So that would shift the weight a little bit. It would demand more on your ankle mobility. Um, it would actually be a bit less demanding on the knees, but another good option. I think especially for progressing your ability to maintain that low deep squat for longer periods of time. Also, if your calves are really tight, this can be a great place to start with those calf raises. You can also stack the slant blocks. So you could start with a calf raise just on a 10 degree, for example, pop that up to a 20 degree stretch, for example, and then change that to 30 degrees by stacking a 10 on the 20. And then if you wanna progress that even further, obviously stacking up to 40 degrees. The great thing about the cork is there's really no slippage. They've got really great friction that stops any slipping while you're on them. And that is a really killer calf stretch. And you can play around with that a fair bit. You can even go into you know, single leg calf raises. 30 degrees is generally about the limit you'd wanna do for that. But again, great way to progress the range of motion in your calf raises. Another cool thing about the slant blocks is that you can split them up, like so, obviously. And that allows you to do things like split squats, where you can have less demand on your back leg for toe mobility, but still get a really nice knee over toe projection on this side. And obviously you don't have to use that back one if you wanna train the back mobility. And again, you can unstack that even more to the, just the 10 degree to ask more from that front ankle. So the other cool thing with the slant blocks is that you can just stack them into a block. So like so, and that allows you to do, again, things like split squats, where you're asking even less of the front ankle, but still getting a really good stimulus to your hip range of motion here and knee strength here. You can use that as a tool for step ups. So great for loading into that ankle dorsiflexion range of motion, and again, knee strength. You can use it as just a yoga block 
to prop yourself up for different stretches. And also, if you want a bit of a rest, use that as a little mini stool that helps you get into that deeper squat position without actually tiring you out over time. So obviously, the slant block is a very versatile tool. It's a great handy thing to have around home or to take with you to the gym. They are very portable and light. Obviously, with that lightness and portability comes a little bit more fragility. Traditional slant boards are heavy and bulky, but very durable. So you do just have to be a little bit careful when transporting them, especially around these sort of thinner edges. They can get a little bit dirty over time with frequent use, which hopefully you do, but they clean up very well with just a bit of hot soapy water, rubbed down and then patted dry with a paper towel. Just make sure you dry them thoroughly. So we hope you enjoy using your slant blocks. If you do have any questions or want any guidance on your training, please feel free to reach out. We're always happy to help.